Good day everyone, I am Dani Carlechalo, a third year student. I am currently taking Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education major in Home Economics. For today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the different tools used in plotting construction. Plotting construction requires a variety of tools that can be classified in the following categories. Measuring, drafting, marking, cutting, stitching, and pressing. When sewing, it is important to have the right tools for a task and to know how to use the tools properly, using the right tools will help make the clothing construction easier. A tape measure is commonly used to take body measures. But it can also be used to draft patterns, measure fabric, lay out patterns on fabric, determine the length of a garment, check the size of hems and measure curves and corners. Accuracy is important in taking measurements. Wooden table is used for drafting and cutting fabric. It should have a suitable height and size. Taylor's chalk is normally in the shape of a rectangle. It is a hard chalk that is usually used to mark cloth or garment instantly. This type of special chalk is being used to indicate a spot on a garment. Dressmaker shears. The large blade of dressmaker shears makes them suitable for cutting out fabric. These shears have tapered blades with one pointed and one rounded tip. A handy point for clipping and notching curves is also included. A needle for hand sewing has a hole at a non-pointed end to carry thread or cord through the fabric. Threads are used to form the stitches that hold the fabric parts together. They can be described by fiber type and size. Timble is made of plastic. Is used to keep your thumb and fingers safe during hand sewing. It makes things simpler to push the needle through the fabric without hurting the finger. It is commonly worn on the index or middle finger, which is where the needle is kept. It must be both comfy and easy to handle. Needle threader, it is challenging to thread a needle. It can save you effort and time in this situation. A needle threader is a tool that assists you in threading your sewing thread through the, eye, through the needle's eye. It is a simple limited device that quick and easy to use. Pins are used to hold fabric together prior to sewing. They hold the fabric in place when attaching or sewing it. Sewing pins are available in a variety of lengths and thicknesses along with different pin heads, materials, and tips for each purpose. Pin cushion is a small padded cushion used in sewing to store pins or needles with their heads exposed so that they can be easily grabbed, collected, and properly organized. An ironing board is essential for convenient ironing and steaming of clothing as it offers a stable surface that can safely absorb heat while pressing out wrinkles. An ironing board is to keep clothes flat while the wrinkles are being ironed out. Iron box is the use of a hot dry iron to remove wrinkles from clothing. Fabric should be free from crease while cutting. Knowing how to use the proper tools and equipment is important. Having an appropriate set of tools is important for effective and skilled sewing work. So it must be in the proper order and one must know how to use them to save time and produce the best results. Good quality tools and equipment are also needed, especially for sewing.